you are watching Kolsky One. Like, share, and subscribe. Hi, welcome back to Kolsky One. For today, we are going to have a 90 day review of the Mavic Air 2. So, obviously, when this came out, I wasn't producing videos, so I never did a review on it. And at that point, I probably had enough of drones, to be fair. Camera drones, especially, I find them a little bit boring now. So, I've sold a lot of things. So, I've sold the Mavic Pro 2, the Mavic Zoom. I've sold those. I sold all the cheaper ones that had like the Xeno and stuff because they were just poor compared to this stuff anyway and I didn't know why I were keeping them. And I kept the Mavic Mini. Now if you live in the UK you'll know that the Mavic Mini isn't that flyable in the wind. So a lot of wind around so I decided I wanted something a little bit better. And plus the fact I thought I could do with 2.7 or 10 HP video footage. I couldn't. So I decided to buy this. Now when I bought this I didn't, my expectations probably weren't as high as a lot of other people's were. I'd owned the Mavic 2 Pro and I'd owned the Mavic 2 Zoom. So I didn't expect that much from this to be honest. I'd owned the original Mavic Air and although I was happy with it, the camera was never great on it, the flight time was appallingly bad and there was a few things I didn't like on it. it sometimes it, f it was quite fluttery in any kind of wind but it was a decent enough drone and I got good money for selling it compared to what other people are now getting for them. So I bought this with the intention of yeah, it'll be, it'll be all right. I picked it up. I think I don't actually cost nine hundred and something quid, are they? Uh, I bought the Fly More package because this is all I was keeping. I've still kept the Mini, but I only wanted one camera drone because I'm very much now FPV only, and I just wanted this. So if I wanted to get some good footage, I could do. So when I bought it, like I say, my expectations were probably a little bit lower than a lot of other people's out there. I'd watched some YouTube videos, but not many. Not like I normally would have done. And I have to tell you, this thing has blown me away. For what you're getting in this drone, is quite incredible. They've got to a level where it is. A, this is not a million miles behind the Mavic 2 Pro. The Mavic 2 Pro is a camera person's drone. It's not really just a point-and-click drone to me. You have to me mess and edit it. But when you do do that, you can get some amazing results from the Mavic 2 Pro. Don't get me wrong. This, for an out-of-the-box point and shoot video machine is absolutely incredible. The still video, the still shots are good of it. The video footage is good on everything that I've checked. You'll probably, there's going to be some video footage running in the corner and then I'll finish with some more video footage from it at 10, uh, 4K 60. I'll upscale this video to 4K 60 this bit here so everything's going to be in 4K 60 so you can see what the video footage is like. But it's absolutely phenomenal to me. There's not much I don't like about well there's nothing I don't like about it. I'll be honest with you, a charger, I probably don't like this three-way charger, they could have made it a little bit better. That's it. I love the controller. Some people say the big controller's not really what they like. It's absolutely, to me it's amazing. Absolutely perfect. It's a better handheld size. I love the fact that I can now put my phone in the top rather than put it on the bottom. This is so much of a better arrangement. The cable connector is a much better thing than it was before, the grips are better on the back, everything in this controller is better, there's no doubt about it. Flight time is fantastic from these little small batteries, I think they're amazing. But the drone itself is where is the actual big thing. So it very much in a lot of things it looks like a Mavic 2 Pro, just a smaller version. But obviously in this does not have a one inch sensor but what you get from this is obviously 60 frames per second which you don't get on the Mavic 2 Pro. The Mavic 2 Pro is 30 frames per second but you get the one inch sensor. The gimbal holder on this is okay. The camera is reminiscent of, it's obviously smaller than on the Mavic 2 Pro, it's more reminiscent of the Mavic Air or the Osmo Pocket, it's obviously far better than that. I've never noticed any kind of judder from the camera, I've never noticed any issues with it. It's speed and coordin the speed and turning of the camera is absolutely phenomenal. These props are fairly quiet, they're similar to what you get on the Mavic 2 Pro. Collision detection all the way around. It's just a good drone. I'm sounding like a DJI fan. I am a DJI fan. I love DJI. I think they make the best drones out there. I, I, whether you like their politics or you like their policies, you can't deny the fact that these are good drones. And I read, I'm still on the forum for the Anafi and all the other stuff. Hudson Zeno needs to have taken a bath. I think every day someone's compared there, they've dropped in a sea or they've lost it. Alta Levo, 
Two is probably the one thing that I would like to get my hands on uh, and play with. But everything else is kind of an is just dropping out of the sky. And I know these are people that are going to post this, but it seems a lot of cases, especially in the UK, I, I read this all the time. So it's not the odd one person or the odd two people. It seems to be, I don't know, 40%, maybe 30% even, whether it's that high or not. It's what it appears to be from going on the forums. I can't obviously comment. I'm not partial to that information. But DJI just seem to get it right. I'm not saying they don't have issues. Touch wood, I've never had an issue with the DJI drones I've had. So, that's all I can comment on. What I can comment on, performance is great, flight time is great. This does exactly what it says on the box. They haven't gone in with some outlandish time of 40, 45 minutes. This gets 30, 30 minutes, I get 30 minutes on it regularly. It's what it says it's supposed to do. Like I said, the charger, I'm not particularly keen on. It's quite slow, but that's not a problem. It's just the fact that it just feels a bit cheap. But it was made to go in the bag, because the bag's obviously small. The upgrades over the Mavic Air 1, well, this to me should not have been called a Mavic Air, this maybe should have been called the Mavic 2 Pro Mini, because that's more like what it is rather than a Mavic Air. Compare, compare this to the original Mavic Air, it's doing it a disservice. If you own the Mavic Air and you've thought about upgrading, just hit the button and do it if you can afford it, because the difference is huge, it's not small, it's huge. I was blown away by this probably more than anything else as well. This, the fact that I looked at this and I thought, hmm, that's a bit strange looking. I don't know if I'm going to like that. But it just feels great in your hand. It absolutely does feel fantastic. And the fact the phone on the top is massively, diff massively important to me to make it better. Connectivity, I've had absolutely no issues. I've tried this with a... So far I've tried it with a Samsung S10 and S10 Ultra, an S10 Lite. I've also tried this with an iPhone the iPhone series, no issues whatsoever. Connects every time, never have a problem with it. The only one bit I would like it to do, I don't like the app, because I didn't like the app on the Mini, they've used the same app. I think the app needs to evolve. Uh, I liked the um, Go 4 app, I thought it was brilliant. And they've dropped that in favour of this on this drone. Don't, not sure why, I'm not sure what the reasoning is, but it's a small, minor thing now. Because of the major, quite a major thing to me on the Mini, it's got better over the time in the Mini, and the Mini is now much better drone than it was when I reviewed it. Got along, it must have been nearly a year ago now, and the Mini is now a much better drone than it was. Don't get me wrong, it's, but it's in that price point, and I think it's right in that price point. You can't expect it to do much more for the money it is. You can't expect it to start turning out 4K 30 frames second footage or having this long distance on it, anything like that because it's not going to do that. It's not got this, the technology that this has got built into it. Price point is fantastic for that. I think the price point for this is about right. If you buy it with one battery, which I think most people would be absolutely adequate with that because I bought it with three batteries. Should I have done it? I'm not over sure now. But the price of the package, the difference wasn't enough to dissuade me from buying it. If it had been 400 quid more than the, the drone on its own, the battery, I'd have bought that. So you can obviously survive with just this. So the video footage you've been watching at the top of the screen, it's been probably going in there. I don't know because I haven't edited it yet, but there's been some going on there. And the video footage I'm going to leave you with is filmed on a sunny day. There's no filters on this. I have got the filters. They're in the back. I keep forgetting I've got them. So it comes with some filters. They're not the best range of filters. You're probably going to need to, if you want to be seriously doing something with this, you might need to go out and buy the six pack of filters. Because they seem to have missed out the important ones like the ND4 and the ND, which is what I'd use most. There's none of them in the pack, but the video footage was shot, all stock. I try and do my videos that I show on YouTube stock, because that is what it would be like if you're new to flying, or you are not really know what you're doing yet, you just want to go fly it. So, these are stock settings out of the box, nothing has been altered, it's just stock out of the box. The videos I make for myself, they're different, I do do them, I do change them, and I use editing software on them, because I want to make them look as good as I can. The video you're about to see has no editing footage. It's no editing. It's just raw off the SD card. So, thanks ever so much for wa watching. It's great to be back. I enjoy doing my videos again. The lighting and everything else doesn't look as good as it used to do because I don't have my studio set up anymore because I got rid of that. I don't need it anymore. Um, and I've got a lot more stuff coming up. But like I said in other videos, they're going to be quite diverse now. Moving forward, I've got a new printer, that, a new 3D printer that I got. That I've got that coming up soon. That is absolutely superb. 
for doing TPU, which is always an issue for me. And I've got a lot more FPV stuff coming up. I've gone into FPV DJI in a big way. And slowly but surely I'm going to swap every quad I've got into that. If I can't fit a air unit in, then I'm going to fit the Cadix Vista because, to me, the difference between flying with the goggles, uh, DJI goggles, and normal goggles is too strong for me. Now, I've got that used to it, I can't go back. And I know people are going to think, well, it's much better flying in analog. And to you, it is probably thin people, but I've got more into it over the, di over the digital, and I just prefer digital, my opinion. So, thanks ever so much again for watching. You have a fantastic day, and I'll see you soon.